Hey, Harvey. Looks like award season's coming early. <laughs> and the winner is... Me. Huh? Huh? You tell him, Hector. <laughs> Shut up, man. It's early. Well, more than that, you should get out here and check out the Hector show. It's a spinoff of Dexter. You know, like how he was a serial killer, only killed serial killers? But in this one, it's his cousin. And he's a sexual predator who only preys on other sexual predators. That sounds terrible. No, dude, it's clever. He's got a code. Oh my god, Mr. Weinstein! Hector! You've been the Bay Harbor Predator this whole time? It's not what you think. I have a code. <laughs> See? Dude, are you seriously eating mac and cheese out of an ashtray? Well, I rinsed it out. Why? Well, I'm not going to eat out of it with a bunch of ashes in it. Why would you eat out of it at all? It's gross, dude. Having a cig ready to go, though? You know, plus we ran out of cups yesterday. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, we ran out of clean plates like six days ago, then we ran out of bowls two days ago, and then I was using cups for like cereal and shit until I ran out, so now I'm using this. You know, you'd have noticed we were out of dishes if you weren't so busy buying fast food all the time. You're judging me right now. Well, I made you one. Should you have a family? Should you have a house? Should you have a green yard, two kids, and a spouse? Green yard, red yard, blue yard, purple yard. I'm gonna go hang out at the boulevard, yeah. Huh? Huh? You tell him, Hector. <laughs> Dude, waking me up two days in a row? Well, more than that, you should get out here and check out the Hector show. It's a spinoff of Dexter. Yeah, I know. It still sounds awful. <laughs> you obviously don't know about the best part, then. Oh, what? He's a sexual predator. They only prey on sexual predators. Yeah, he told me about it yesterday, man. It's ridiculous. And really, dude? Still eating out of the ashtray? What? We ran out of cups yesterday. Yeah, I know we're out of cups. I know your whole stupid reasoning. Still doesn't make it okay. Well, I made you one. So I think I have Groundhog Day Syndrome. What do you mean? You know, like in Groundhog Day when Bill Murray has to relive the day over and over again. Really? That's pretty sweet. You got the day off today. That's like the best day to repeat. Well, yeah, you'd think. But I'm out of weed today. I mean, I'm going to get paid until tomorrow, so until I can figure this thing out. Non-stop resonates. Oh. <laughs> Gets you, doesn't it? <coughs> so, if today's just going to repeat, then that would mean I don't have to go to work tonight. Or does it only repeat for you? I don't know how any of this works. I'm sure my boss will figure it out. I doubt it. All right. So I have the day off then. I think we both established that. Oh. But I'm also out of weed. This is going to be a terrible day off. Yeah, man. Yesterday was awful. Oh. Wait, what are you talking about? Yesterday was awesome. I found that Joe Bob Briggs oh, tape from no, Monster dude, Vision. No, dude. Not yesterday, yesterday. Like today, yesterday. Oh, yeah. A repeating day thing. Why are you so sure it's Groundhog Day Syndrome, though? I mean, it's not even Groundhog Day. Have you ever thought about it being Edge of Tomorrow Syndrome, though? You know, the day repeated in that movie, too. Live, die, repeat style, though. Yeah, I never saw that movie. What? Edge of Tomorrow? Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt? I mean, it's pretty much Groundhog Day versus an alien invasion. You don't know if there is an alien invasion. It's pretty late in the day to just be finding out about it now. And Rufus, there's really only one way to be sure if it's under tomorrow syndrome or not. What you doing with that shotgun, Doc? We're gonna have to reset the day like Emily Blunt did. Don't we keep that thing loaded? Oh yeah. My soul yearns and pines for the- uh, uh, You tell him, Hector. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, are you up back there? You gotta get out here and check out this Hector show. I don't care, Kevin. What? 
It's showtime, dude. Nobody cares that it's showtime, dude. Look, I'm experiencing some really intense Groundhog Day syndrome right now, dude. You mean like reliving the same day? Yeah. And we've done this. We've done this whole exchange already. And you're sure about this? I'm positive. Hmm. Well, if that's the case. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? So, how do you know it's not Edge of Tomorrow syndrome, though? Da. No, no, da. I am not. We need to reset the day, though, dude. I'm doing this with you again. I'm only blunt, though, dude. <laughs> Kevin? Ha! Uh ha! -huh. You tell him, Hector! <laughs> Damn it, Kevin! Oh, more than that! You gotta get out here and check out this Hector show! It's a spin off of Dexter! You know, like how he was a serial killer, only killed serial killers? Just shut up! And give me that other ashtray of mac and cheese! I don't know about all that with that attitude. <laughs> Alright, fine. Jeez, what are you doing with that shotgun anyway? Well, Kevin, the last few times I told you I have Grand Dog Day Syndrome, you've tried to shoot me. Why would I do that? Because you saw Edge of Tomorrow last week. Well, yeah, I mean, it'd be pretty late in the day just to be finding out about Edge of Tomorrow Syndrome now. Shut up, you already killed me once, dude. Last time I actually killed you. You killed me, dude? Well, you got it coming. But what if the day didn't repeat? Yeah, now you're worried about that. So, um, how do I know you're not just saying all this so I don't kill you now? You don't have to kill me in the first place! Emily Blunt only shoots Tom Cruise after he breaks his leg. I watched that movie, by the way, after I killed you? Yeah, that's true. How do I know you ain't got anything broken, though? This is a real problem, alright? And not just for me, neither of us have weed. And the day's gonna keep repeating. Oh. Resin hits. Dude, we gotta do something. Let me scarf this down real quick. Oh. All right, I gotta run these through, make sure they work real quick. Uh, you guys can go ahead and take a look around. All right, cool. I got a question for you though. Have you ever seen Groundhog Day? Yep. Great, so the two of us here, we're having this little debate on how Bill Murray ended his whole uh, repeating day problem. Would you say it ended because he became a better person, you know, from helping the homeless and learning piano and shit? Or, is it because he finally banged Anna McDowell? Well, it's definitely because he helped the homeless and the piano thing. What movie did you watch? But, keep in mind he only did those things because he wanted to bang Anna McDowell. Not because he actually cared about becoming a better person. I mean, it's not like the movie ended after he started helping the homeless and learning piano. He'd been doing those things for a while. I mean, he even mastered the piano. So no, it only ended after he banged Anna McDowell. Huh. Guess I never thought of it like that. Yeah, but even with all that, though, I mean, he still had to do the whole help the homeless and learn piano thing. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you gotta do to get with a wholesome woman like Andy McDowell. Does she have to be wholesome? Or maybe Bill Murray just needed to get with any woman? No, he bangs a different woman early on and the day's still repeated. I mean, the wholesome thing is a huge factor here. I mean, it's like the proof that you're good if you can get with Andy McDowell. Huh, true. So I guess you're both right. He had to become a better person and bang Andy McDowell. Oh, well that's bullshit. I don't want to help the homeless. <gasps> oh, whatever. Like, you two ever do anything for the homeless. <clears throat> you can never get with Andy McDowell anyway. I don't know, dude. She hasn't been anything for a while. I'm sure Stenton's probably dropped a little bit. The lack of great roles for Andy McDowell is a tragedy, first of all. And you could never get with Andy McDowell. I mean, you're a disgusting human being. Yeah. Probably true. It is true. So what am I supposed to do then? Now that I think about it, did Bill Murray and Andy McDowell even bang in the end? Well, she spent the night, dude. I mean, it was gonna happen sooner or later. The point is, it didn't end after he learned piano. Look, this isn't working. Do you just want to try the Edge of Tomorrow way again? I felt like we had some progress with that. Hey, shopkeep, you got a gun? Yeah, you want to see it? Uh, no! Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm just brainstorming here, dude. Jeez. Let me see that gun. Uh... Don't give him the gun. I can't believe we only got eight bucks for all those movies. 
What do they expect you to do with eight bucks? Oh, you know what you can do with eight bucks, dude? Go down to the casino, put it all on red. It's more like eight bucks in gas just to get down there. Yeah, then we better win. No, dude, we're not going to the casino. Kino, then? No. Food? What are you thinking? Gang out in the car. Polanski, Woody. I'm sure they'll give you work. Spacey isn't coming. I'm gonna have to take you in, Hector. They're just gonna keep doing it, Bev. You have to see the value in this. No, Hector! The fucking justice system has value! Does it? Then why am I so fucking busy? What the hell are you doing? What the hell is this? Who the hell are you? Yeah. I'm the repeat day guy. Okay. The reason you've been reliving your day over and over? Alright. So what's that, that? It's been over 10,000 days. The hell is wrong with you? Most people figure this out in 300. I feel like that's kind of on you though, right? I mean, today's not even Groundhog Day. Yeah. That did raise questions. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Have you not seen Groundhog Day? Yeah. It's not like your job. I am a god. I don't watch movies. Well, this one's based on you, dude. Wait. So is this me I am supposed to bang in a McDowell? No. You're supposed to become a better person. Well, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm all about this repeating day thing. I got eternal life now. Plus, no one's ever gonna stop playing The Last of Us. It's not bad. <clears throat> Bill Murray and Tom Cruise were totally overreacting. He's a lost cause, Dot. Mm -hmm. oh, what are you doing? Why are you like this? You're all dead. Mm -hmm. Can I do something? Can we get up now, then? Come on, Cruise! Yeah, fine! Freaking repeating dead guy coming all up in here? Yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, Rufus, do you think I'll get his powers now, like in that one movie? What movie? I don't know. I feel like there's a movie where that happens, though. Are you talking about Edge of Tomorrow again? When Tom Cruise kills that alien? Oh, yeah. So this is like Edge of Tomorrow. Damn it, dude! What the hell? I don't know. I thought there was another bullet in here. Stop it! What? You two are impossible! Who are you? I'm him! The repeating day god? That's just a human form I took a hold of. So you got that guy killed? I didn't shoot him. Yeah, but um, you did use his body to break into our apartment and attack Rufus. Yeah. Which technically makes it self-defense and puts you at fault. Yeah. You two are lucky this day's gonna repeat. It's totally your fault, Dad. You know what? Maybe I should just let this thing end and let you two get busted for murdering him tomorrow. So you'd let a dude die just to spite us? I mean, who really needs to become a better person here? Me? Or you? Andy McDowell is not gonna get with either of you. I mean, especially you. I mean, Bill Murray was a stretch, but you two? This is not about Andy McDowell! Yeah, says the guy who's never seen Groundhog Day. Yeah, that movie is based on you, man. Well, I mean, we already told him that. Oh, yeah. So you know. Yeah, he knows. Oh, dude! Oh! What the fuck, Come dude? Come on, man! What the hell was that about? I don't know.
Hey, Rufus. You gotta get in here. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know, Kevin. Hector. TV show every day, it's Hector. So, uh, what should we do about this?